In this video, we are going to learn the basic concepts of some shapes. Hi friends, welcome back to Math Simplified. Do you know what objects are these? Do you know the names of these objects? You can see a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a circle. Before we begin, let us recall the meaning of a term that is dimension. What do you mean by a dimension? It is a thing that we can measure. So look at this. It's a point or it's a dot. You will call it as a small dot or a tiny dot. And you are not bothered to measure its dimension. Dot has not got a dimension. Now look at this. It's a line. And is there any dimension? You can see there is a length. You can measure the length. Now look at this. It's a rectangle. How many dimensions are there? You can see a length and a breadth. So there are two dimensions. So it is called a two dimensional object or 2D shape. So 2D shapes are shapes where we can draw it in a flat surface like a paper. Now let us move on to solid shapes. What is this? It's a cuboid. You can see there is a length, breadth and a height. So there are three dimensions. So it is called a three-dimensional object or a 3D shape. Can you give some examples of a cuboid? Your room is a cuboid. Matchbox is a cuboid. And these are some of the examples of a cuboid. Now let us concentrate more on cuboid. How many faces are there in a cuboid? One, two, three, four, five and six. Six faces are there. How many edges are there? You can see there are 12 edges. What about vertices or corners? There are 8 vertices or corners. Now, how can you find the total surface area of a cuboid? I am going to open the cuboid. You can see there are many shapes in it. So, I am going to find the area of each shape and add them up to find the total surface area. So when you add them up, you will get the total surface area of a cuboid equal to. Now, have you heard of the term called lateral surface area? Lateral surface area means you are going to ignore the top and the bottom portion. So how many faces will you have? Four faces. Now you will concentrate only on those four faces and to find the lateral surface area, you will find the area of each face and add them up. So the lateral surface area of a cuboid is equal to. Now let us move on to cube. When you think of a cube, what is that thing that comes into your mind quickly? It's a Rubik's cube. In a Rubik's cube, how many faces are there? Six faces are there. What about edges? Twelve edges are there. And what about the vertices? It has got eight vertices. As you know, each face of a cube is like a square. And in a square, all the sides are equal. The side is denoted as A. It is A square. So to find the total surface area of a cube, you will add the area of each square in it. So the total surface area of a cube is equal to. Now to find the lateral surface area, as I mentioned, you should remove the top and the bottom portion. So lateral surface area of a cube is equal to. Have you heard of the term capacity or volume? What do you mean by that? Now this glass can hold this much water. So the a bottle can hold this much water and that means the capacity of the glass and the bottle. So how will you find the volume of a cuboid? Volume of a cuboid is defined as length into breadth into height. Volume of a cube is defined as A into A into A that is A cube. How will you find the diagonal of a cuboid? The diagonal of a cuboid is equal to. How will you find the diagonal of a cube? The diagonal of a cube is equal to. Now let us solve some important questions. Now let's move on to the first question. You have been asked to find the length of the longest road. 
and you are given three dimensions so it should be a cuboid so in this question you need to find the length of the longest road to be placed inside a cuboid which means you need to find the length of the diagonal so what is the formula the formula is root of l square plus b square plus h square so here length is 12 so this becomes 12 square breadth is 9 so it becomes 9 square and height is 8 so it becomes 8 square so this is equal to root of 144 plus 81 plus 64 and this becomes root of 289 which is 17 meter so the length of the longest road to be placed inside a cuboid with these dimensions is 17 meter now let's move on to the next question the length breadth and height is given now you need to whitewash the walls of this room and the ceiling so to whitewash the walls of the room you know the curved surface area or the lateral surface area and the ceiling as you can see in the ceiling you have a length and a breadth so how will you find the area of the ceiling it is length into breadth in this question length is given as 5 meter breadth is equal to 4 meter and height is equal to 3 meter so what is the whitewashing area equal to it is lateral surface area plus area of the ceiling that is length into breadth so what is lateral surface area it is 2 into l plus b into h plus l into b now you will substitute so 2 into 5 plus 4 into 3 plus 5 into 4 that is 20 so this becomes 2 into 9 into 3 plus 20 and that is 74 meter square now you need to find the cost for whitewashing the area cost for whitewashing 1 meter square is equal to 7 rupee and 50 paise so what is the cost for whitewashing 74 meter square area you need to multiply so it becomes cost is equal to 74 into 7.50 and this becomes 555 rupees moving on to the third question a 4 cm cube is cut into small 1 cm cubes so in this question you need to find the volume of 4 cm cube and that is represented as capital V and it is equal to 4 cube and that is 64 centimeter cube now you need to find the single cube volume so that is represented as small letter v and that is equal to one cube equal to one centimeter cube now to find the number of cubes formed what you need to do you need to divide it so number of cubes is equal to 64 divided by 1 equal to 64 now you need to find the total surface area of small cubes so that is equal to TSA equal to there are 64 small cubes so 64 into total surface area of 1 cube is equal to 6A square so this is equal to 64 into 6 into A is 1 so 1 square is equal to 384 centimeter square now let's move on to the next question in this question you have a cubical vessel and length breadth and its capacity is also given so here you need to find its height so length is equal to 10 meter b breadth is equal to 8 meter and volume v is given as 380 meter cube so what is the formula for the volume it is L into B into H is equal to 380. So here H becomes 380 divided by 10 into 8. 
and that is equal to 4.75 meter so for the cubical vessel to hold 380 meter cube its height must be 4.75 meter i hope the concept of surface area of cube and cuboid and its volumes are crystal clear to you i'll be coming with more videos so if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe bye and thanks for watching